Yo, my name's Kowalski. So I decided to make another on the spot video, and in this one, I decided to talk about shot calling. This one's not going to be nearly as long as the other one involving sensitivity, and we're going to get started. I'm actually just going to make this very brief. This is the last one. This one's going to be as quick as possible. So, shot calling. There are three principles to shot calling. And all the time that I've learned how to shot call and my experience from other games such as Rainbow Six Siege and more than four years of Ghost Recon Online and Ghost Recon Fandoms, I can confidently tell you that when you receive a when you receive a callout, shot calls and callouts are two different things. A shot caller is going to definitely give you either advice and advise you to do something or they're going to tell you you need to do something, you need to do this. Whether it's you're going to peel out, whether it's going to be a play, whether it's going to be synergy, it's something. They're going to tell you what you need to do at that moment. And shot callers are pretty rare too. You're not going to get everyone that's going to be really good at shot calling. You're going to get people who can make suggestions, granted. You're going to get people who are good at callouts, granted. But shot calling is something that takes dedication an effort and team synergy to get done. Now then, when you're making callouts, you don't have to be a shot caller, but you can be a caller, okay? So there are two enemies right here. Let's assume that one is an Ana and one is a Hanzo. We've eliminated them, okay? So they're out this door. Ana Hanzo front, Ana Hanzo front. And you want to consider the, the compass of where everyone is. If there's a payload map, let's say this is the payload, and this is the direction, the cardinal direction of the payload. You're pushing it down this road, wherever it be. You want to say right side payload two, right side payload low, right side payload one, right side payload one. Or you want to do right side payload healer one, healer one. And then if it's Ana, you say Ana no sleep low. Right payload, right side payload. Soldier, on your right. You see? Top center catwalk, top center catwalk lit, lit. Watch out, he's got flash, he's got flash. Giving that information to people can help big time. And you don't need to make it super complicated. Catwalk, right, you're right. Soldier, you're right. It's all about location, target, and status. Location, target, status. You want to tell them what's over there first. You're trying to tell them to look over there. The thing about shot calls is that many people misinterpret them to be orders and demands. The issue with calling and shot calling is that people hear you tell someone about something and they automatically assume that they're supposed to go do something about it. That's not what you're supposed to do when you get a call out. You're supposed to take that information and do what you will with it. It's why I don't tell you to directly do something unless I am shot calling. The purpose of the call out is to give you information that you can do what you will with. Understand? So before you go into a match and make calls, or before you go into a match and receive calls and then get tilted because you can't do anything about what people are telling you, or you can't, or you think you can't think, right? You believe in your head that when people are making callouts, when people are talking, communicating, you can't hear yourself think. You have to get over that. There is no way you can survive in this game and rank up without being able to at least synergize and listen to callouts or make them yourself. Again, callouts and shot calling are two different things. They are practically one and the same when it comes to vocalizing and then interpreting information and then utilizing that information. However, a callout is for information to be used and gathered and delivered to others while shot calling is to deliberately give direct information to a certain group of individuals, whether it be one or more, and then enact upon that. Okay? I think that pretty much sums it up. Again, bot down. We are one up, one up. One bot low, one bot low. One bot low left on cliff. Two bots to the right, one top right. One down, 
Top right low, top right low. Let's imagine I die here. He's low, he's low on catwalk towards payload. Catwalk towards payload, top right, top right. And then you would tell your Ana, who's walking back to the payload from the spawn. Ana, Ana, on your right. Ana, Ana, on your right. Stay there, stay there. Ana's lived. Ana just lived. Because you made that call. You gave her awareness. I think that should about sum it up here. I'm gonna go upload this, and... Yeah. Seems pretty good to me. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how I did. See you then.